the 1950s, a decade immediately after one of the greatest conflicts in the history of the world. During this time, the country was looking to return to a state of normalcy. Media reflected this idea through their advertisement and entertainment. The shows like Leave it to Beaver and 7-Up commercials reflected ideals that would make it seem like it was the norm of the nation. Like a four-person household with a wife, husband, and two kids. These families were always white. They also followed the idea of separate spheres, which means that a man and a woman have different spheres of life. Man in the public sphere, and woman being in the private sphere. And that they also lived in suburban households. These images would have one believe that everything was all the same with little distress. However, this is not true. The United States was far from peaceful in the 1950s. With McCarthy's Red Scare and the Korean War, fears of communism seeped into Americans' everyday lives, making their lives far from what the media would have one believe. Beginning with Joe McCarthy, a senator from Wisconsin, he began what would be known as the Red Scare. He had claimed to know of 250 communist spies within the State Department, which had brought him to the national stage in the news. Soon after, the public believed him and stood behind him as he held the trials to expose these spies. Though he had very little evidence to prove his claims, the trials continued until he brought up accusations against high-ranking military personnel, where his trial fell apart on national television. However, the damage has already been done. With many individuals believing McCarthy, they began to become paranoid, wondering even if their own neighbors could be a communist spy, sending a sense of uneasiness throughout the nation. During the time that McCarthy was causing fear on the home front, American citizens also had issues to fear abroad. When the communist nation of North Korea invaded the democratic nation of South Korea, the U.S., along with the U.N. forces, decided to join the fray. This was just as much of a physical war as it was an ideological war, pinning communism and democracy against one another. When the United States entered the conflict, South Korea was pushed to its southernmost point on the peninsula. Soon after, however, the American and U.N. forces had pushed the North Koreans back to the northernmost part of the peninsula towards their Chinese boundary. With the conflict drawing near their border, the Chinese joined with the North Koreans and pushed back the U.S. forces towards the original boundaries, drawing it to a stalemate. This lasted two years until the two forces agreed upon a ceasefire and created a demilitarized zone stretching 160 miles long and being 2.5 miles wide which is under constant watch by both North and South Korea, and is still there today. With this war drawing to a stalemate, this shown the American people that the communist countries like the USSR and China were dangerous foes and they could not be easily defeated. This is one of the many educational videos shown to school children to teach them what to do in a nuclear explosion. This video is produced by the newly formed Federal Civil Defense Administration. The FCDA was created by President Truman due to the public outcry over Russians creating an atomic bomb and over other fears like the Korean War and on Red Spies. Also, other than creating educational videos, they also created public fallout shelters across the country along with providing educational materials on how to make personal fallout shelters in one's own home. However, most of these shelters, especially the homemade ones, could not provide long-term protection from nuclear fallout. The purpose of these shelters and educational videos were more to make the terrified American people feel just a little bit safer within their own homes. With so many fears of death from nuclear explosion, to communist spies, into all-out war, 
These truths of American people was a far-flung image from what the entertainment industry would have one believe was the norm of the day. To my loving arms, while those ICBMs keep us free.